Hey guys, uh, this your girl Tamika here. As you can tell, I am tired. I took the day off uh, from work from my regular job um, because I want to go, you know, attend one of my son my son's events. Um, and I know I had a kind of a hate today. Went to the hairdresser. You know, you probably can't tell. I got look flipping. I had more gray than a little bit, so I had to go get that taken care of. Um, anyway, so. I know later that we were going to take my mom to dinner for her birthday. Uh, she just turned 59. My dad turned 58. Um, rest in peace to my dad. Um, but now, guys, we went to this place called Bay Breeze, and it was great. Um, so I'm thinking now it feels like it's, I think it should be later than what it is, I guess because I ate so early. But um, it's not. It's only like almost 10 o'clock. So, yeah, I look kind of crazy, I know. But anyway, um, I'm still in a great mood, of course. Maybe a little tired, but, you know, that comes with the territory. But um, my thing is I had to motivate myself to push forward in this business that I'm doing. Not just this one, but in my other business as well. Because, you know, sometimes, guys, it gets where we feel like, you know what? Things are kind of slow. They're not where they're supposed to be. They're not where I want them to be. Um, There's just not a thing for me. All of those negative thoughts. But the thing is, you had to block those negative thoughts out because those negative thoughts will pretty much bring that negative energy back towards you. So when you start thinking that you can't do something, then you think that way for a while. Guess what? Nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to do it. Or everything that you're thinking negative is what's going to come back to you. So, guys, you have to be careful. Because me, psh, please, I'm in it for the long run. And I know that, you know, when, um, when my breakthrough comes, oh, it's coming. And it's coming. Believe that. Because I'm not a quitter by far. If I set my mind uh, to do something, I'm going to do it. Yep. I remember, um, like I'm always that person when someone says, you can't do this or you'll never do this. I was in high school, guys. And this girl asked me, and I think, I'm pretty sure she was my cousin. Um, I don't know. We weren't that close in high school. But anyway, she asked her, like, well, what are you going to do with, what are you going to do when you finish high school? I know I wasn't going to college. I mean, if you look at my other videos, I will tell you that then when I was in high school, my senior year, 10th grade, 11th grade, ninth, hell, even maybe 8th grade, I knew once I finished high school, I was not going back to college. Not right then. Like from 12th grade straight into college. No, I wasn't going to do that. Sorry. Um, so, you know, I like, you know, I'm thinking I'm going into the military. She's like, you're not going to do nothing. You probably go stay home and do absolutely nothing with your life. I'm like, well, dang, you know, I'm like, well, hurt my feelings. I'm like, Psh, please. I'm like, I'll show you. Boo -boo, you'll never tell me what I can and cannot do. And that's exactly what I meant. I did go to the military. I ended up doing a total of nine years after, you know, after high school. And I came home. I went and got an associate's degree in um, business. And that was, I kind of got married, had a child in the interim, all that. <laughs> and but I knew I still wanted more, so I went and I went, I went and I went. I went back to school, and I got my bachelor's degree in uh, criminal justice. And before I finished my my, my uh, bachelor's degree, I know I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and get my master's degree. And my professor was like, well, why stop at the mouse? Won't you just go ahead and get the doctorate? So I'm like, yeah, you're right. But if I don't get my doctorate, I know for sure I'm going to get my master's degree. So what I did, <clears throat> once I got ready to finish college, you know, I had already started looking into a master's program. And I had applied for different colleges and stuff, tested, did excellent and all that so um this one school called me back and she's like well there's an issue with your um you have a balance owed 
to your undergrad college because I went to a different college, of course. I wanted to go in state this time. So um, I'm like, a balance? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, well, how much is it? And she's like, well, it's like $4,000. like, what? $4,000? <laughs> so anyway, um, I think that was in August or something. So she said, it will be a while probably before you can go. But she stayed on it. This lady would call me at least two or three times a week. Um, I would call her and she's like, you know, Tamika, I promised that we were going to get this, you know, taken care of. Are you still interested in going? And I'm like, of course, I'm still interested in getting my master's degree. Yeah. So um, well, she called me back and she said, you know what? We went ahead. Everything is cleared up. I don't know who did it. Well, wait a minute. Let me change that. God did it. Um, that balance disappeared. I went ahead and I started my master's program in that October of that year. I worked my butt off, guys. You hear me? I worked my butt off, and I got my master's degree within less than a year. Yep. And it's not one of those online things. I've worked my tush off. You understand? Um, so that let me know. That, that, um, what my, the reason why I was telling you guys that is because to let you know that regardless whoever it is it tells you that you cannot do this. You'll never amount to nothing. If you don't have to prove them wrong, but prove yourself right if that's what you want to do, okay? Because you don't owe nobody else nothing. Now, when you're proving you're right, when you're proving yourself right, yeah, you make sure you let them know you don't have to. I'm not trying to tell you be flamboyant with all of it. But, yeah, let it be known that you did that, okay? Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your your accomplishments, Whatever it is that you're you're doing in life, because the same people that tell you you cannot do something are the same people that will not do anything, and that probably are the same people that's not doing anything. So you know, as long as you hold your head up and you know who you are and you know what goals you want and you know what goals you want to achieve in life, you go and you do just that. And you make sure you let that devil know that he's a liar. Okay. So until next time, guys. Peace.